So welcome back uh, to part two and now we're gonna make the materials and also the first drivers. Uh, I want to add in a new material and this is gonna be a uh, emission and emission and just open the note editor with shift F3 and um, this is the material node set up here. I just want to call this top.000 and also make a fake user. So the fake user is when we don't use the material, Blender doesn't delete that because it fakes a user so it thinks it still needs it and I just renamed it. So now I want to make a node group, but first I want to add in three values. Uh, let's see, Y, Shift T, Y, and rename these to R for red, G for green, and for blue. So, oops. So now I want to add in a driver to each one of these, and also add in a converter combine RGB or RGB, and just plug these into the socket here. Now I select these four nodes and make a group with Control G and call this new group color. Add a fake user. So when we accidentally uh, don't have a user, it doesn't get deleted. Now select the group, press Tab to go into edit mode and set that color here to the output to this little soccer here. And I made that so we can use that group um, for the materials, for the color. Because now here I have three values like in the color wheel we have three values red, green, blue and also an alpha but we don't need that one. And I combined that to a color and that color is the output of that node group. And these values, uh, for these values we added the driver so we can control them with a property in here. So, um, ba -ba -bum. also we're gonna add in a strength driver, so a driver for the strength. And uh, mm, 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 I think I want to make the driver for the strength value now because when we do it now, we save a little bit of time. So press Shift F6 to go into the graph editor, select drivers, and you have the value strength driver here. <coughs> And um, actually, let's see real quick. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want to add that now. Or let's see. <laughs> uh, let me think real quick. Um, mm, yeah, I want to add it now because it just saves time and maybe it confuses you confuses you a little bit but you will understand it so collapse all that and now i want to add nine or ten drivers to this value here and actually rename it so item and call it number 
plot zero 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 and call that one. Um, let's see. Poo. Slider underscore numbers dot zero zero. I added dot that dot zero 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 because when we duplicate it uh, it gets to dot zero zero one slider uh, is that right how it typed it typed that in I'm not sure so now we wanna add now we wanna add ten properties so we go into the object starter in the properties window. So you'll see the properties window here. And just add 10 values. So now. And rename it from 0 to 1. Ah, uh, 0 to 9 actually. Two, three, and we'll use that so when the value uh, four or five, for example, uh, is it one? All segments that are used for the value five are at a strength of one because we control the visibility via this emission material. So it sounds confusing and it is actually a little bit but I hope I have explained it well. So now we have these 10 properties and right now we don't care about them. Um, the only thing I want to have right in here or actually we care about. So I explain that now really quick, set all these to zero. Uh, zero, 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 and just that to one. What we wanna have is uh, each of these segments has its own material. And if we have, for example, zero, all segments except that one in the middle here are visible. So the other segments here have a strength of 1, like it is right now, and this inner ones, or this middle one here I selected, has a strength of 0. So 0, so you don't see it when the background is black, actually. So you don't see it. You see everything except the middle segment here. Uh, let's see, set it back to one. Yeah. Yeah. And we want to control that via the driver. So each segment, each segment I need, so every segment except the middle ones, has the strength of one in the material. And now I add the driver or I adjust it. So I type in here something really quick and then I will explain it. Uh, two. And these gonna are going to be my variables and I just type in each one right now because later we delete these ones we don't need. So plus 8 plus variable 9 and times str. So uh, let's see 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So um, all these uh, v1 and v5 and so it is um, are all variables. And each variable looks for one of these properties here 
and look if it's one or zero or whichever value, so 0.5 for example. So we add these variables, just press a few times and select the number 000 as the object. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and yeah. Uh, so now we have to name it properly. So V zero, V one, V two. Ba bum we three we four we five and so on seven eight nine yeah that's everything and right now we don't have the rare rule str, but we will come to that soon. And now um, we have a single property or a property that is in the object number, which is that object. And now we want to have these variables. So just these parentheses uh, and type it in. And you can also just say copy that above. Uh, let's see really quick. Yeah. So just type that in here. So one. Uh, just paste it quick. I don't know. Uh, um. So just from top to bottom two three four five six Seven, uh, um, eight, and nine. So now it looks for the variable uh, five, for example, in the object number, which is here. And now you see it updated, and we have a wrong object here. Just slide a little bit here, and it updates. But now it says uh, error invalid Python expression. This is because we have this times str. I want to add another variable, and I think I done it, I've done it already. No. So add in the variable called str, and this one is in the object slider. And we will call it. Uh, let's see strength But now there is no variable strength in the object slider. So we have to add one Add edit Strength and also this goes to Two so the maximum value is two and bum, bum, bum. No, let me explain that really quick um, it works. Uh, let's see. It should be one times. Um, let's see really quick. Zero. Yeah, it should be one. So just delete a little bit. 
8 plus 9 times str str oh uh, what happened here oh we have to just update the value I think and let's see string strength copy data path and paste it in here and I just typed it different so just update and now I see it works and now we have a value 1 0 2 and what I basically do here is I add all these values together here and multiply it by the value strength so we can control how bright it should be or not so for example right now we can control the strength here with 0 1 but also with the slider up here so times 2 times 1 or so and now I want to remove the segment or the uh, property zero. Uh, actually, no. Sorry, my fault. Uh, first, I want to make the material setup. And let's see. It's it's sixty minutes now. The tutorial. Um. Yeah. Uh. I hope that wasn't too confusing, because, yeah. I think if you are new to Blender, you'll find this really confusing, but you will see just in a minute um, for what I use that, of what I do that use. But first, let's uh, make a new part because the video is now it takes now 15 or 16 15 or 16 minutes, and so I see you in the next part.